Well, my goal as a gymnastics coach is basically to help put Jamaica on the map with great gymnasts coming out of our gym and out, out, and out of our country. That's one. My policy is basically fun. You always try to be fun because without being fun, the kids won't gravitate to it. They'll just be like, ah, uh, what is this? So when you try to be fun with them or associate with them on their level, it gets them to jump into the activity better. But it can't just be fun, you have to be strict at the same time with them. Because as soon as they get out of it, you have to say, hey, get back to that. Or get right back to what we're doing. So it, it has to be balanced. You can't just be one and not be one without the other. Well, my method for them is watch how they do the skill. Look at the most important thing, or the crucial thing, in terms of technique and the methods of how to do it, the skill. And just look at them and say, all right. You're not bending your elbows properly, you're not, doing, you're not pointing the toes, you're not lifting the hips up, you know. And then go back to some previous videos that I've watched and look at the methods they use and try to compare them with how I use it in class. And then I try to implement that same teaching with them. And if that doesn't work, I'll go back to the same book, go back to a book, go back to the videos or ask a coach or employee to help me to find out the solution or what's the problem with it. That's one of my methods. For me, fun for me is going to a character that they watch. Or a hit cartoon that is going on now. Like you have Ariel, you have Dora, you have other, all those other cartoons. I try to be a character from those cartoons and try to make it fun for them. So I might change my, my tone of voice change it maybe into an English accent, a Spanish accent, or some other accent that they will love or gravitate to. Because it really works for them. I haven't found one child who doesn't like it. Not one. So I always change my tone of voice with them. And it works. So with them, I have to act silly basically. It's not fun to do, but it gets them to do the job. I have to see your job easier, somebody doesn't really do it. I basically want them to learn everything, the skills, the teachings, because if they understand the concept of it, as in if they understand the theory of it, then it's easy to put into the practical part of it. So, yeah, and basically just have more conviction in what they're doing. Because once they have the confidence, have more conviction in what they're doing, then they will feel like, oh, this is easy. I, I can get past this with ease then. And the, also the rules that we have, come into play. Uh, rule number four is never give up and keep on trying. Because as soon as they reach a skill that, all right, I don't think I can do this. They just want to stop from gymnastics completely. But once you teach them all of that during your classes or each session that you have, they start to implement it more and start to use it. And that no, rule number four always come into play. All right, never give up and keep on trying. Never give up and keep on trying. And they stick with it. And you as a coach feel good about it at the same time because you know, alright, that's my teaching. That's our goal as a dream, working. So yeah.